The second video for defining and using probability, we're going to look at probability of winning the lotto according to a couple of different circumstances. So assuming numbers are selected random, let's say you must correctly select six out of 48 numbers to be the winner. The order of the numbers is not important, key thing in just a moment. So as we think about this again, we have to think about the number of successful outcomes that we might have as we try to win the lottery and compare that to the total number of outcomes, the total number of ways that you could pick out six numbers from 48. So first of all, with success, uh, to select the correct six, there's only one way to do that. Pick out the right numbers. So there's one successful outcome, win the lot. Total. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Uh, I've got 48 numbers that I'm choosing from, and I'm going to choose six of them. Order is not important. Well, that goes back to the idea of a combination that we learned about in the last lesson. So what's going to happen here is the total number of ways that this could go down is there are 48 numbers to choose from, and I am going to find a combination of six of them. So 48C6, whatever this big number happens to be, that's the total number of ways that I could pick out numbers. So Plugging that into a calculator, we got that written here. We'll save you just a little bit of time. Uh, that's going to be about two million two hundred seventy-one, or yeah, two hundred seventy-one thousand five hundred twelve. You can type it into a calculator, check it out. But you're saying one in about two point two million to win the lotto. That's if it's six out of forty-eight numbers. So it's not great. Okay. Uh, what if we just have to pick out four numbers? Is it any better? So we're going to pick out four numbers. Each is an integer from 0 to 9. You'd think we'd probably be okay. It's probably a little bit better. Here, the only thing we're going to change is we're going to say the order of the numbers is important. So once again, we think about the idea of success versus total. And my success, in this case, again, well, there's only one way to be successful. Pick out the right four numbers in order. Total, uh, here, we've got, let's see, Integers from 0 to 9, that means there's 10 numbers to choose from. And we are going to have four of them. Now, the key is that the order is important. So that means this is now a permutation instead of a combination. So 10P4 is going to give us a few more options to worry about. So when I'm done with this, and again, you can type that into a calculator to check it out, it's going to be 1 out of 5,040. So a little bit better because you don't have to pick up four numbers, but still tricky because they have to be in the right order.